Hi guys, Overarch here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about how to market your Let's Play channel. So, I am not an authority on this, but I have been running a YouTube Let's Play channel for a year or two. So I feel like I you know, have learned some lessons from that, and hopefully I can pass on some wisdom so that uh, you guys don't make the same mistakes I did or you know, maybe help up your game. And if you have anything that you want to suggest to me, please feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. I read all the comments, and I'd be happy to talk with you guys some more down there. So I'm specifically going to be talking about marketing on Reddit and other forums for your Let's Plays because I see a lot of people make some very common mistakes uh, marketing their channel and it just doesn't work out well for them. So first, uh, there is a hard, simple truth that we all need to recognize as Let's Players. First is that unless your comment or unless your content is heavily edited, you are low effort content. That's not a bad thing. Your content is very quick very easy to make. It is considered low effort. It's just, you know, you just open up the game, you open up your OBS or whatever you're recording with, and you hit record, and then you talk about it. And there's a lot of skill that goes into it. There's uh, both in the game and in the commentary, and it takes uh, a lot of practice and time to become successful at being a Let's Player. But you are still relatively low effort content. There are uh, channels with millions of subscribers who make low effort content. This is important because we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. So first of all, let's look at the places we can promote. There are two places we can promote. Places for creators, this is bad. Places for the game you're playing, this is good. So the first type, places for other creators is really only good for critique videos, but bad for actual promotion. Everyone comes to, you know, certain subreddits like, uh, you know, watch me let's play my game, and, uh, or watch let's plays, and uh, they're, they're, they're just creators. They're not really looking for content, they're just looking for a place to put up their stuff. And that's great if you're looking for critique, or that's great if you're um, looking for, you know, a few views. From other creators maybe but you're not going to get a lot of traction there you're not going to get a lot of attention and in my opinion it's really not worth uh, putting your stuff up there for the purposes of promotion so the second type of place is where you can find people who are looking for the game that you're playing for example a games forums or a games subreddit and this can be steam forums this can be the devs forums this can be wherever the second ha has people that actually want to see stuff for their game. However, they want bite-sized and high-quality content, not long-form, low-effort pieces like the content that we make. Again, no offense. And there's nothing wrong with having easily made content. The people here just aren't looking for it. They want bite-sized stuff. If you post your Let's Play on the game subreddit, there's a very high chance it's going to be removed. Same thing for the Steam forums. Or, you know, you're just going to get flamed and really no one's going to see your content. So not really good. You need to figure out a way to market yourself that does not involve posting long-form 40, 30-minute Let's Plays or even 15, 20-minute Let's Plays on subreddits and forums. You just won't get a good response. Trust me, this is the number one mistake I see people make. I see people all the time trying to promote on the Steam forums or on Reddit, and they're downvoted to oblivion and get, like, one view. So here's what you can do. You need to create content that you can promote in addition to your Let's Plays. So that means montages, tutorials, you know, high effort stuff, heavily edited stuff, meme content for the game, joke content for the game, stuff that gets pe their people's eyes on it and stuff that you can put on Reddit on uh, forums that won't get downvoted to oblivion, stuff that people want to see, high effort, short content and content that is easily consumed as well. So for example, let's say you're, you're, you're playing a video game and you're uh, one of the best players at the game, maybe. You're not even the best, you're just decent and you wanna make a guide for it. Go ahead, make that guide and at the end of that guide you can say, hey guys, be sure to check out my channel and you can promote that and people that will draw viewers not only to sub to your channel but it'll also push viewers into 
uh, going and watching your Let's Play content. So that's a great way to push people to your content without being uh, this, you know, low effort uh, video that's just going to get flamed and downvoted and lost. Next is that you can also make content that's easily consumed, then link it back to your content. For example, on Reddit, pictures or GIFs have a much higher uh, view rate, like five to ten higher, five to ten times higher compared to videos. So what you can do is you can take one of your videos, take a funny moment, make a GIF of it, maybe put some, you know, lettering on it, uh, like uh, Soviet Wobble does a lot if you've ever seen his content. And you can, you know, then put that up on the subreddit, it's going to get way more views than a video. And at the, you can then go into the comments and you can type in, you know, hey, this is taken from X video, link to your video, link to your channel, whatever. And that'll help push some people, not a, and that'll help push, very few people are going to go and click through. It has a very low click through rate, but it will push people to your channel. And you're going to be getting more eyeballs on it more views so even though it has that low click rate you're still going to get click through rate you're still going to get people onto your video and onto your channel next up is be sure you have good branding and a well put together title channel you need a uh, long and descriptive titles descriptions and tags you need to also unfortunately it's a huge pain you need to do your tags and description unique for every video so I have a standard description, and then I also have a description for the video itself. Make sure you're using your tags. Uh, don't forget to use your analytics to see where you're actually getting views from. You can not only see where you're getting views from, but you can actually break it down by the individual tags and search options that are getting you those views. So that way you can kind of try to optimize yourself for discovery on YouTube, optimize yourself for people finding you. Next up is, let's talk about branding. So thumbnails should always have some unique element. For example, mine have a red and white logo in the bottom left corner. So this allows my subscribers to easily recognize my content in their feeds. If they're looking for, you know, an overarch video, they can, oh, hey, look, there it is, you know. So it's, uh, it's something that can really help people identify you. Next, make sure you have a good banner and profile pictures with your social media links as well as your channel name. This can help push people not only to your channel but also to your other social media. When people click on your channel, you have maybe five or ten seconds to make a good impression on them. And if you make that good impression, you're probably going to pick up a subscriber. But you have a very short window to do it, so you need to make sure that your stuff is all in order and looking sharp. Next up, making a lot of thumbnails is actually a huge pain. Uh, depending on the type of thumbnails you use, uh, you might benefit from using this really cool Photoshop script I created uh, to help you make hundreds of similar thumbnails at once, which you can now check that out linked into the top right. Uh, also, as you may have noticed, it's if you can work it into a video in a natural way, you should definitely try to talk about your previous videos and link to them. So while you're making that guide that you're going to promote, talk about how you encountered something in your game and then link to that episode of the Let's Play. And then boom, you've just driven more people to your other videos. Next up is that everyone knows YouTube comments can be absolutely cancer. Uh, however, Reddit comments are just a slim notch above that. Same thing goes for forums. So it's super obvious when someone hasn't watched the video but has still come into the comment section to either fanboy or complain. So the takeaway is don't engage the trolls. You can't remove troll comments like you can on YouTube. So just don't engage with them. If you do feel the need to respond to someone, which you might have to, remember that you're not talking to the person you're replying to. That person has already made up their mind and they're probably an asshole you're not going to change their opinion. However, you can still put your opinion out there so that other people, undecided people, reading through will see their comment and kind of your answer to it. But don't get into a fight with them. Don't get into a long-winded debate. They're, they're going to be morons. And that being said, don't disregard um, you know, constructive criticism either. You just kind of have to use your best judgment on that one. And now to the most important tip. Being a variety streamer on YouTube is really, really damn hard. Uh, usually you don't want to be a variety streamer. You want to be known as the X guy. 
You know, for example, uh, Northern Lion is the Binding of Isaac guide. Enter Elysium is the Strategy guide. Party Elite is the Warhammer guide, etc. A guide, etc., etc., etc. You want to become known in some community, and that way, people in that community will recommend you on your on their own, and they get free promotion. Even if you are a variety streamer, that's fine. Or variety let's player, have a series or two that you always promote and continue to build up in your community. Northern Lion is a great example of that. He always, every single day, has a Binding of Isaac episode, at least one. But then he also has episodes that rotate out and vary from different series So and games. So just try to become known. I see threads like that a lot on Reddit where someone will come in and be like, hey, I'm looking for you know a Let's Player. Uh, who do you guys recommend? And then people will recommend the most well-known Let's Players in that community. And you want to be one of those guys because it's free promotion. All right, so as always, guys, let me know what you think about this video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, your own tips, leave them down in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing you. Thanks for watching. Bye.